Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, teacher Jonathan Musa. Today I'm going to take you through a very simple experiment in science about oxygen supports burning or oxygen supports combustion. Welcome. The apparatus that I'm going to use to perform the experiment to show that oxygen supports burning include some water, a glass of water, some ink, a matchbox with some matchsticks, a candle, a plate, and a marker pen. The first step in this experiment is to get a candle and light it. And after lighting it, you fix it in the plate, make it firm so that it doesn't fall. You make use of the molten wax, then you fix it on the plate like that and ensure that it can't fall. The second step is to add some water into the plate, but not a lot of it. Then, because the water is not very visible, I make it visible by using some ink. I pour some ink. This ink is just to make the water visible. Otherwise, the experiment can work without the ink. But just because I want you to see clearly what is happening, I add some ink to make it visible. I stir the ink The third step and the last step I'm going to invert this glass inside this burning candle Remember in this glass there is air and air is made up of four main gases. These are the four gases that make up air. We know that air is made up of nitrogen, 78%, which is the largest, oxygen, 21%, inert gases, 0.97%, carbon dioxide, 0.03%, giving us a total of 100%. The other things that are present in the air like water vapor and dust but their percentages are not constant so these are the main gases that make up air so we want to know which one of the four supports burning so when I invert this glass I want you to make two main observations the first observation will the candle go off immediately or will it take some time and then, after the candle goes off, what are we going to observe with the level of water, both in the plate and in the glass? So, make those two observations so that we can make a conclusion after the observations. So, the first observation, will the candle go off immediately or will it take some few minutes, seconds or minutes for it to go off? Then after it goes off, will there be a change of level of water in the glass and level of water in the plate? Those are the two observations I want us to make so that we can make conclusions after that. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. And that is the experiment and it has worked perfectly just as I expected it. 
So now we go to some conclusions about the experiment. The first observation where we saw it took some five seconds for the candle to go off can help us to make a conclusion that out of the four gases that were in the glass, that is nitrogen, oxygen, inert, and carbon dioxide, one of them was helping the gas, I mean the candle to light. And then when that gas was used up, that is the time uh, the candle went off. Just before we determine which gas was used up, it is good to ask ourselves a question. Why did the water rise in the glass? I know some of you are asking that question. The simple reason is this. Is this. Once some part of air was used up, water had to rise to occupy that space which was left after that air was used up. Nature does not allow vacuum. It's just like when you have water in a bottle and you start pouring that water. When you start pouring that water, when the water is coming out, air must come to replace that space which is left after the water pours out. So when this gas was being used up, when the candle was burning, that part of air which was used up, water must rise to occupy that space so the reason water represents the fraction of the air that was used it represents the air that was used so the water that has risen from this level to this level represents the air that was used up so this is what will help us now to determine which gas is that we know the percentages of the four gases so the simple calculations we shall do will help us to know which is this gas which was used up in burning now in the last step where we want to determine which part of air was used in burning among the four gases nitrogen oxygen inert gases and carbon dioxide we are going to measure the fraction of the water that has risen and as i just explained earlier the fraction of the water that has risen represents the part of air that was used in burning so i take my marker pen which was one of my apparatus i take my ruler and i place it here to measure the height of the water that has risen my mark Then with that height now I'll measure that is one, that is now two, three, four, then five. So it is a fifth of the glass, water in the glass. It rolls by a fifth. And remember the four gases, as we say, the four gases make up a total percentage of a hundred percent and a fifth of the gas was used up so we find with simple calculation a fifth of a hundred what is a fifth of a hundred and this is simple mathematics anybody can do by five one by five twenty so twenty percent is the gas that was used up the gas that was used up is represented by a percentage of 20%. When we look at these percentages, we can easily tell which gas is approximately 20%. 78 is far off, 21% is just by one percentage out, 0 0.97 is too far away, 0 0.03 is too far away. So we pick oxygen and oxygen supports burning that is the gas that was used in burning thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more coming science and mathematics lesson alerts be blessed